If there is one place in China that inspires mystery, admiration, and dread more than any others, it is Karagobo, the sacred warrior god mountain to Tibetans and the highest peak in Yunnan province. No one has ever successfully climbed it, or probably ever will. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. The mountain massif around Karagobo goes by a broader name in Chinese, Meili Shishan. But the highest peak, Karagobo, towers 6,740 meters into thin air over white clouds and green forests. To the south lies Mianzimu, commonly regarded as one of the most beautiful mountains on Earth. Hikers from across China come here to trek a two to three day pilgrimage route through these valleys and local Tibetan communities. These mountains are part of the three parallel rivers UNESCO protected site, where the Yangtze, Mekong, and Salween rivers slip past each other through gaping canyons across a slice of the earth only 88 kilometers wide. The dramatic geographic relief makes this one of the most species-rich temperate regions on the planet. But Cabo Gobo is also one of the most deadly peaks on Earth. No one has ever summited, and 19 climbers have perished trying, including a 17-person joint climbing party by Japanese and Chinese alpinists in 1991. Their remains were only found seven years after they vanished, supposedly in an avalanche. For Tibetans, summoning the peak is forbidden and an offense to their religion and local mountain god, who is said to punish those who tried to summit, enslaving them for seven years within the mountain. Local Tibetans believe that the fate of the climbers in Karagaba was no coincidence, merely the consequence of their attempts to defy the mountain. In 2001, Chinese authorities banned climbing the mountain, and no one has ever tried since. Now, due to the mountain's special cultural significance and biodiversity, authorities are also considering creating a national park here, so that the mountain and its heritage are protected to the highest degree. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere.